Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Marie. So, recently I moved from Maryland all the way to San Antonio, Texas. And when I did that, I moved into a house with four rooms and two people, which means that I had at least two rooms to choose from. Well, actually I had three rooms to choose from to make into my own. This is the thing, I've never had a room and a house solely dedicated to being a space for me that wasn't a place where I slept. So what I really wanted to do was take advantage of this new house and finally build myself a dream sewing room. Oof, I'm squatting right now. It was amazing. I love the project. I actually already did it. I'm filming this after the fact because I forgot to film an intro. What I basically did was I took a completely blank canvas and I threw on some plain, threw in a rod, threw up some artwork, and it became a sewing room. I had two rules when I was doing this video and first of all, it was to you know, make a tranquil space. I didn't have a particular aesthetic in mind. At the end, I did go more towards vintage. You know, grandma from the 50s, kind of like, you know, in the country kind of aesthetic, because um, that's just who I am. Uh, but, you know, I just really wanted in the beginning to just make a tranquil space, and I really do feel as though I did that. Second, I wanted to do all of this on a budget. I didn't really buy anything new. I basically just looked all over the place at Facebook Marketplace and Goodwill, and I ended up finding some beautiful stuff. So, what I hope this video can do is just basically inspire you guys to make your own tranquil space, whether that be for sewing like me, or just studying, or, you know, any craft that you do by yourself. So, uh, I hope you guys have fun. I certainly did. I just wanted to first show you guys how my office looked like beforehand. As you can see, basically all I had was a sewing machine. It's pretty messy, pretty horrible, but yeah, let's get started. First, I went to go get my rug. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, and my only problem was how I was going to fit it in the car. Crap. After getting in the car, I decided to head on to Home Depot and look for some paint. I've been talking for like five minutes and I realized that the camera is on and also this truck is now staring at me. <laughs> so now we are at the local Home Depot. I'm going to try to get a color uh, for painting, a painting color <laughs> that is kind of similar to this rug since the rug is going to kind of be the main statement piece that everything kind of like follows. Like the curtain is going to be basically the same color. Uh, the store is basically the same color, you know, paint basically the same color. Um, and also I'm going to try to get it as cheap as possible. For this is taking so long. I hope no one steals the rug out of my car. Ugh, why did I leave it in there? I am so stupid. Damn, I hope this paint is pretty or my entire room is F worded up. Okay, so hey, this should edit it. I'm talking to the people of YouTube, babe. Uh, oh my god. So hey, this is editing Taylor. Um I'm gonna make a confession. I dropped my phone in a toilet, so now the audio of my phone is trash. Guys, I'm so sorry. I please don't click away. I ordered a freaking whatchamacallit microphone off of Amazon. It'll get here Friday, and yeah, sorry about the audio. So, we just left Home Depot and we got some. Um, I forget the name of the paint, honestly. What happened is that I picked out five paints that I might like and then went to ask the person a question about what 
kind of paint I should get? And then he was like, oh yeah, I'll get you this one. You want this color, right? And I was like, sure. Really, I didn't want it. It's just that my anxiety kept me from telling him no. Um, so now I just have some random color that I may or may not like. So they had, oh, sorry, they had nothing, um, which is fine. I know um, it's hard to go to like stores and look for specific things. And I really want like a specific, you know, no. office chair that is white and silver and maybe blue. So um, I am fine. They have, I tried to look for other things like storage things for sewing. They didn't have that either. Um, but before I give up and just go home, I'm going to uh, stop at one more Goodwill just to see, you never know. A few moments later. Okay guys, fingers crossed. Let's see. Later that same evening. Okay, so as you can tell, it's nighttime now. I was in there for a very long time. I did not find a chair, but I found the most gorgeous stuff. I'm gonna go home right now. Um, and, and then tonight, I'm gonna show you the stuff I found. It was freaking gorgeous. I got maybe, oh, I got so many things. Um, very antique feel, definitely making me rethink kind of like vibe that I want for my sewing room, which is amazing. So I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Okay. <laughs> I now interrupt our regularly scheduled program for an oddly satisfying tape removal scene. And now it's time for the room reveal. So as you guys can see, I went very minimalistic with my design. I basically knew that in the end, I would definitely want to add more things, but I didn't know what things there I was going to add, whether it be organizational, whether it be clothes rack, whether it be a dress form. Basically, what I wanted to do was just fill up my space just enough so that in the future when I would need that extra stuff, I would be able to easily fit it inside. What I also ended up going towards was the more vintage antique fill which was definitely of course um, probably granted or was going to happen due to the fact that I went to Facebook marketplace and Goodwill to shop but honestly I'm pretty happy with how it turned out because this has always been my kind of aesthetic anyway I will say that it was definitely very hard finding that chair um, it ended up probably being the most expensive thing but what I really really wanted to do was find a chair that would um, help me, you know, keep back support just because I know that I was probably going to be sitting in this room a lot. In the end, I really, really enjoyed everything that I did in this room and I hope you guys did too. Mm -hmm.
So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments whether you liked it, whether you would have gone with a different aesthetic. Um, if you want to know where I got some stuff, I'm more than happy to help you guys. Um, and yeah, I had a great time and I hope you guys had a good time too. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you gotta do to show support for this video. Peace guys. Oh my God, Marco, yes. Say please like, subscribe, and comment.